If you were all, if we were all the same, then there wouldn't be, it wouldn't be exciting. We celebrate the fact that we're all different, and we're better for the fact that we're all different. St. Francis, it's a different environment. I know the first day we came to St. Francis and they showed us around and talked about the program, we ended up, uh, I mean, we just, we just went home feeling like, uh, this is it. I come to the table every parent conference, every parent interview that we have with a heart that understands. I've been there and uh, I think there's a, a commonality, there's a bond that's created between parents who want the best for their children but also know the heartache of a struggling child in a traditional classroom. But here everyone is just so accepting and they're like, oh they're different, that doesn't matter. To have a school where they come and they have teachers who are trained in specific instruction to help make their learning process more enjoyable and to lift that burden off of their shoulders. I think it instills a certain level of confidence in the students in that, yes, they are bright and they can learn. And I think that confidence gives them the ability to move forward and try things that they might not normally attempt. I, I like to think of it as a conversation starter sometimes. Like, I'm a little unique because I have dyslexia. I don't think of it as a bad thing. I think of it it's as a good thing. An average day for me is like I go to my plus classes. And what I really like is that sometimes I might have plus classes in the morning and then I don't have any plus classes in the afternoon, so I get a little bit of both. They're cl changing classes just like everybody else, and nobody really cares, you know, what classroom she's going in for. It's just her next class. And um, it, it's just been huge for her and for us. The intention of the PLUS program was that students would engage in everything St. Francis has to offer. They are a St. Francis student first and foremost. Here all the teachers are really great and they, they're encouraging. We get really close to our teachers. Sometimes I'll even have conversations and they really get to know me. And the teachers have been wonderful. I, I could not have asked for a better fit for us and for Ava. You know, just the level of patience that the teachers have given her and, and you know, some one-on-one -on -one if, if she needs it. Our teachers especially create that bond with their students and so they create an environment in their classrooms where those kids can just be themselves and realize that everyone has a struggle academically, personally, socially, and that it's okay. The first thing that we have to do to um, begin the learning process before it even starts is that we have to come in and lower that anxiety level. We do that in a variety of different ways. We do that through the READ program. It is the Mid-South READ Therapy Dog Program. Uh, the students are able to spend time one-on-one -on -one with a dog that's trained. Uh, they read aloud. It lowers the anxiety that just naturally comes with reading aloud. In one of our teachers' classes that we did, we had to make a car and make sure that our egg didn't break. And a lot of the kids in the advanced classes, actually their egg broke, but almost, I think one group in ours had a tiny crack in it. In my like plus class that I have for science, only one person's broke out of the like 15 people that we have in there. So I thought that was really shocking because we just look at things different. I think the plus program offers hope. Progress here is not a number. Progress is a direction. And in, here we also embrace the fact and understand that there have been geniuses throughout history that have had the gift sometimes of dyslexia or learning disability because it does allow you to look at the world in a different way. Younger classrooms have teachers that are trained in remediation specifically in SMILA which is taught right here in the city of Memphis. It's a simultaneous multi-sensory intensive language and arts approach. It is fantastic for our students that struggle with dyslexia or any other kind of phonetic based problem. By the time the students get to third and fourth grade, we are really working hard at offering them strategies that look different for every child. One child may have a strength in an auditory and another child may have a strength in visualizing. And we really work to teach the students to capitalize on those strengths. Middle school is a time when we begin the transition straight into high school. So sixth grade, 
We're working on self-advocacy, organization, time management for those long-term projects. It's still very much a self-contained classroom with very small um, ratio of teacher to student. By the time the students are in seventh grade, they are more um, independent. It is less of a self-contained classroom. She fit right in, made lots of friends. Um, she's been in two plays. She's played volleyball. She's just expanded um, exponentially, more so than I could have even hoped for. The students come back, the students are in college, the students are in the Naval Academy. The students come back to, um, you know, their roots where, I think, where they feel comfortable, where they attribute their success to. I think that speaks volumes about the program itself.